Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading for the week of 29th of April until the 6th of May. Alright, there may be some energies building up towards the 5th of May, which is the 5-5 five five portal. So the 5-5, five five, expect a lot of changes, new beginnings, and then coupled with the new moon in... Uh, Taurus that is coming up. So there's going to be a lot of releasing happening this week. I see eight of cups, nine of pentacles and justice. So it feels like you're definitely moving towards something like a more abundant place. This is Venus energy, more balance within, more space connected to your ancestors, to nature. And justice is an energy of balance here. Or there may be a Libra in the picture as well. All right. So let's get more. What do you have for Pisces? Two of Wands, Nine of Cups, Queen of Swords. Two of Wands is planning, direction, looking for direction. Uh, this is someone who has so much potential. There's a lot of potential here. Uh, the Two of Wands is also an Aries card, which is all about like taking on like old, um, exploring. There is a path that you are like a trendsetter, so to speak. So there is a Something to do with potential here and the need to take a direction. Um, I would say it's more of planning here because this person is not moving. So let's get uh, further into it. Nine of Cups is that of confidence in manifestations. The Queen of Swords is truth. Now, if you bring that all together, it could be that there's someone planning to do something. They're not so much moving. But then... Yeah, there's something about confidence with the way this person is sitting. It's like there is that overconfidence that something will happen anyway. Okay, uh, the Queen of Swords, the Air, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Hmm. This is something to do with justice. Now, with the Libra that came earlier, or I said Libra, with the Justice card that came. I feel like there is uh, something to do with justice. But there's someone who is like really confident that something is going to turn out for them. So it's like they're not moving. Highly competitive, but then they're not moving. Hmm. That's an energy that you will find in someone who is like really... It's like someone who doesn't study for a paper and... Hmm. They're confident that they would excel in that as compared to another who has done a lot of studies, you know, put in the faith, of course, and then they're coming to the same test or exam, you know? So yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So it shows that they have nothing on you. Hmm. All right, let's see. What about two of wands? The emperor. The emperor could be a father figure. This is Aries energy as well. You could have that in uh, in your chart. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Okay, this is a fiery energy. This is someone who is... There's something that they feel they've got on you, Pisces. There's something that they feel that you want or you need. So there may be someone trying to come towards you. If this is not a person, then it's an energy, okay, of taking action. You may find yourself taking action on something. Okay, so let's see. Queen of Swords. The Lovers. The Lovers could be a love connection. Uh, this is a Gemini card. It's also Venus. So there may be something to do with a love connection here. So Two of Wands and the Emperor. Eight of Pentacles. Could be a research happening. There's someone who is set on something. They're set on now. Causing something for you, all right? So let's see. Nine of Cups and Nine of Wands. Six of Cups. And then there's another. Yeah, there's someone who is actually very confident that 
they're coming in like fiery coming in hot that kind of thing okay queen of swords and the lovers ace of pentacles so there is a portal here and the queen of swords is also the divine saying to stay in your balance regarding this like to to stay in your truth so it could be in anything so let's get more about queen of swords two of swords so there is definitely and there's something that is causing you to be at the crossroads here which means to be indecisive so it may hinder your your progress so you are progressing and then all of a sudden this energy comes in hot and it goes or they go or this person goes away so there's a decision coming your way and the divine is saying to there's some truth coming to you this may be a revelation within um could just be an aha moment as well but whatever the case it feels like you're making a decision and the ace of pentacles is the divine handing you a solid new beginning so this may come with clarity and uh, may come with connection of emotions uh, most times we know something and it takes some time for our body to to digest or process it uh, there seems to be yeah a lot of uh, fiery energy here so let's get something about let's just get one more card here four of swords grounding so it feels like whatever decision you're making you're definitely more more like going into a more grounded state now with eight of pentacles coming back to the beginning about the planning and that overconfidence yes this person is highly confident that they can just come in okay and it feels like you on the other hand are elevating you are focused on building something with two of wands and two of swords whatever this situation is did keep you in one place like not moving but that has been like a way to keep you in that place okay that maybe have been this person's motive this situation is highly competitive even if they may not show you but they don't believe in having two leaders in the same place that's not how they operate like they don't believe in uh, co-creation they like to win so whatever tactic they have had in the past was to keep you in that place you've been focused on some work here you've been building up on yourself and hmm there's something about wanting to keep you in in one place and this may yeah it's as, it's as a result of their competitive energy this it doesn't have to be only one person i'm really feeling like it's just a group of people here but there's one person in particular who also has this kind of mindset but pisces the kind of mindset that i'm getting from you is like do your own thing you're all about doing your own thing building up yourself and then there's the love aspect or let's say the romantic aspect where there has to be some form of partnership but yeah there is no partnership here there is more of competition all right take this as it resonates but that is what i'm picking up as i'm speaking uh two of swords and four of swords makes six swords so it feels like you are definitely moving forward with a decision whatever decision you're making it feels like you're going with your balance all right no matter how even if it means you moving alone it feels like you are doing it because it's all about it's your time right now it's your time okay so let's see two of swords and four of swords four of pentacles protecting your energy uh holding back yeah you're holding back from something and standing your ground <clears throat> so there may be some speaking happening here um yeah, there may be some speaking 
but it does feel like you are standing your ground on something five of pentacles your your not enoughness not good enough not all of that will keep coming as long for as long as we're here and it will keep coming up now what happens is it's like as you're coming into more clarity you're facing all of those bits of yourself and you're, you're doing the work yeah you are doing the work all right so let's see what is here prayer manifestation okay so there may be uh, something about we'll read this self-worth there we go there, there's something about you knowing your worth here i keep getting your ancestors saying like yeah yeah you know your worth that kind of thing and you're releasing that thing of you're just showing up as who you are really Let's read a bit of self-worth. Salmon is the color of deep emotional peace. You have been given a gift of self-love. This card indicates a love of life and no longer trying to prove your value to others who may not see what you see. Rely on your inner knowing. Mm -hmm. Prayer. Inquiry and or, inquiry and original thoughts are inspired by the angels in lemon yellow. So that is the color here. Cut through and face the truth and surrender to a higher calling. There is collaboration here and a willingness to change one's mind. Try letting go of control. Hmm. So it's like, yeah, it, it all comes together as you are standing your ground in something you're also owning who you are and that is coming with you releasing a control of something regarding it could be a connection here. It could be also it could be any kind of connection i'm really getting a love connection angels and ancestors what do you have for pisces winter take care of your needs so there could be a strong uh, i'm picking up a libra energy here so you could have libra or there could be a libra in the picture winter do everything you need to be at your best then move beyond your fears and limitations the winter card features a wolf, one of few animals that stay active all year round wolves know what it's like to walk or thrive within a pack so if you feel you need to go it know that when you are worth it and light on it you create space for me you may feel like a lone wolf right now to be the alpha right that you are right on track okay, uh, whatever is coming to you as a competition like unhealthy on on your own part is all of that knowing you are <laughs> and that in itself is enough patience i accept that everything happens in divine order forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so i feel like this is your own uh, journey of self-forgiveness and the moon in scorpio is very journey of unconditional love. love health i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul you may find yourself like you're taking care of your health even more caring for yourself with the prayer card health uh, there was something that came up as well winter wow 
stop here for now and i hope that this message was helpful and i'll see you with more videos do take care bye bye